What happened and why are you blaming your village people? I said I was sacked. In three weeks, this is the fourth job that they sacked me for. Don't tell me you have beat someone again. No, I did not beat anybody. When I was sweeping, one man, he used this car, he just passed me. Phew! He did not pour me clean water. Oh. Dirty water, he just splashed it on my body. Water! Mm. Hi! By the time I turned, this car has already moved. I checked what will I do, what will I do? Mm. I saw one big mighty stone close to me. I used it like this. Yeah! I stoned it at this car. The next thing I heard, Crick -a -tick -a -tick -a. all the glass just scattered. Then the agency, they now sacked me. They said they will use my salary to repair the man's glass. You see what you've caused? No, you see? I have always told you to control your anger, but you wouldn't listen. What is wrong with you? No. Now, what are you going to do? Because bills need to be paid. Exactly. Mm. Bills need to be paid. Mm -hmm. Hey, and you know, Jerry's cream is its almost finished. I need to maintain his color. I don't want anything to happen to his color at all, at all. I need to think of something I should do. So are you serious do. right now? I am talking about serious bills and you are talking about that good for nothing idiot in your life. Excuse me. Please do not insult him. That boy you are seeing is the love and joy of my life. No insult on my back. It's true. Please. Mm. See. Sincerely, I'm telling you. I want you to teach me. Tell me which business. Give me business idea. You see the street walk. I am tired. My tired is tired of this street walk. I don't want it again at all. So give me idea, good idea. Let me open my own business. Maybe Mary, Mary Ventures. There is Mary. no, shut up. There is no way you are going to save money to start up your own business as long as you have that idiot in your life. Mm -mm. You know, feel work. If that guy did your life, you know, you, you like, never, never. Excuse me, mm. who told you that I need big money to start a business? Let me tell you. Mm. I had a dream yesterday night. My father appeared to me. Pew! I looked and said, Jesus, Papa, what is it? What are you doing here? He said I should go back to my roots. That my roots is the pathway to my success. So with what happened today, it is clear that I have to go back to my roots. What nonsense. Truth. Ah, ah, this girl where now? Why she couldn't be like who get high fever? She don't be mad. No, are you talking about relocating back to the village? And what do you mean by go back to your roots? What? See, I have not told you this before. Mm. My father was a traditional man, a traditionalist. He specializes on male genital dysfunction. He knows how to mix things for them and the thing will start working. And herbalist, you mean? Anything you want to call it, that is your own cup of tea. You can call it. So what has that got to do with your roots? Everything, everything. See, I have to travel back to the village. Let me tell you, this new generation, they like sex too much. But a lot of men are suffering, and they, they don't have a strong, you know, <laughs> longness of this thing. So when I go to the village, get all these herbs, I will mix it together. Mm. Once I give them, they will drink it. That place will just strong. Two hours. Mm. 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 They are still eating. Are you joking? I will make enough money from it. Are you joking? Like, you're going to leave this work just to become an herbalist? No. A traditional urologist. I don't see any difference, my love. Because you're going to be working with herbs. That makes you a mama lawo. Eh, whatever you want, call it. I don't, I, I'm not interested. See, let me tell you, the thing is that I'm going back to my root. I'm going to obey my father's command. My father taught me this thing that time for a reason, and this is it. And I am sure that knowledge was not given to you to make money, only to spend it on that idiot you call a boyfriend. Hmm? You get local, so I don't forget to I person. 
If I remember how I used to eye somebody before in the village, I will eye you. It's true. I'm sure by now you know it's not a delight to see you in my house. What are you doing here? And you never failed to remind me. Come on, Ramsey. I am your wife to be. So stop treating me like a plague that should be avoided at all costs. Gina, please spare me the speeches. Tell me why you're here. My father wants to see you. They want to have dinner with you tomorrow. Tell your father I'm busy. I can't have dinner with him. <laughs> are you being serious right now? And so you're telling me that you are too busy for the senator, a man who is throwing his weight behind your political quest. And why does it hurt you? Who the hell do you think you are? Why does it hurt you so much that I don't treat your parents as God? I'm a very busy man, and I am very sure your father understands. Please, spare me all that job. You're so cold. Cold stone, that's what you are. I hate you. You know, Gina, you keep saying this all the time, but yet you never do anything about it. I wonder why you're so hell-bent on being with a man who has no interest of being with any woman. That's enough insult for one day, okay? Enough! I will leave now, but I need you to go tell my father yourself that you are too busy to see him. Excuse me. No, you, sh no, you should have sat down and have a dish of insults like a basket. Shh. Oh, shh. My father wants to see you, so I have to answer to your father. I have to be at his back and call. What does it look like? Mother, you need to stop badging into my house on the house, bringing me all of this food because they stink and they change the atmosphere of my house. They ruin it. Oh my God. You sure know how to hurt the women in your life. Are you okay? How dare you look at my face and tell me the food I made myself stinks? I never raised you like this to be so insolent and disrespectful. I'm unapologetic about it. I didn't ask for it. I don't need you. I don't need Jenna. I don't need none of you. Why? Why can't I just be left alone? Why? I never asked for your apologies because you said it. However, this is food. If you trash it, you'll be punished by God. As for Gina, treat her well, because your political success lies in the hands of her father. Don't even tell yourself, I don't need them. You sure need them. You need the senators back up for your political success, whether you like it or not. Eat your food. I'll believe you. My love, I'll be going to the village tomorrow to get those herbal medicines I told you, those roots. 
at least when I get this medicine, we will no longer be broke like so broke. We will have enough money to buy your bleaching cream. At least you will not be crying when your bleaching cream finish. But babe, I still don't support this business of yours. To treat a man's faulty scrotum, you have to touch it. I know. But let me tell you, it is only your scrotum that can move me. No other scrotum can move me. Your scrotum is scrotum in it. I'm telling you. My child is very... Ah, ah. This is your bleaching affected there. You don't know. Your scrotum is the number one. No other scrotum can enter my eye in this life. Never. Just know that. Relax. Babe, look, I know you're doing all these things for money. Uh, but why can't you continue with sweeping the street? Or you can get another mini job like picking debts or any other thing. I, I mean, I don't mind. You know? Because some of these men may invite you over to their house to come and check them out. And would you go? I will go as a doctor. Eh? See, that thing you are scared of will not happen. Forget. You are talking as if you don't know me. Eh? I love you. You see, it is only you. I, will, I'm, I cannot look at any other man. What am I using there for? When I have a fine boy like you. Fine, bleaching boyfriend like you. Ha. No. I better go. Are you sure? Yes, so. Are you sure? Uh -uh. You know, I can bear the thought of you touching another man's coat. So, I mean, yeah. I, I can't leave. I can't leave you for any man. Please. I love my boyfriend. My bleaching boyfriend. How will I leave you? Hey, see, let me tell you, that last time I went to the supermarket, the woman told me that there's a better bleaching cream that came out now, but it's just that it's more expensive. So ah. thank God I'm going to do business. I will not buy it. So that means my skin will be fairer than this? Yes, <laughs> my bleaching boyfriend. I love you. I love you too. Yeah. Okay. So how much was it? Really? Okay, let me call you back. Mm. My friend, mm -hmm. how was your first day on the street as a traditional urologist? Which one is urologist? Call that name with respect to traditional urologist. Urologist. Sorry. Not bad at all, at least for the first time. Not bad at all. Um, my sister, you see this work? It's not an easy one at all. Try. It needs a lot of talking, movement. You move from one place to another. I think I need to strengthen my game of persuasion. I need to learn how to persuade people. Wow. You know, talk, 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 talk before they will now manage. I say, okay, I'm going to test. It's not easy. Try. You're really doing this. Yes, no. It's the work I'm supposed to do. I told you now, we agreed. So why are you still asking me this kind of question? <sighs> well, it's fine. You try. Mm? Well done. Thank you. Welcome. So did you cook anything? I'm so hungry. No, it's not been long I came back. Meanwhile, I was waiting for you to come back. So I can congratulate you on your first day at work as a traditional urologist. It's okay. Thank you very much. My friendship. Mm. But now that you are finished congratulating me, please go and cook. I'll cook. <laughs> I'll be you. And call that name with respect. Traditional urologist. Traditional Urologist. Uh, um, there's something I wanted to tell you. Mm. Please, if there's um, all these your boyfriends, at least one or two out of all those boyfriends you have might have this uh, problem. I want you to introduce them to me so that I can give them. No, no, no. What? Shh. What do you mean? No, 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 no. Wait. My boyfriends. One or two inside. If you want to insult me, eh? They start from Waka. Make her you understand. Say you want to insult me. No, what I'm saying now is that when you about to do the thing, you say you in case the thing did not stand, tell him that I can cure it. So that why was problem. it boyfriends? No, I, you come here, I shall. Just come here, I shall. Manu, just say I shall. I shall. It's true. Just say. I shall. Are 
my baby. You know you could call and get my permission before you come to my house. You're aware of that, right? You know you shouldn't be badging into my house like that. You know that, right? What are you doing here? Come on, baby. I came to spend the weekend with you. We are engaged and we will be getting married soon. You're aware this engagement as one that is not out of love, but a business deal. And yes, your family wants to give me a seat at the political table, but they stand to benefit from it. You know you need this more than we do. If I tell my father that you treat me badly, what do you think he will do? You haven't told him. Even if you and I do get married, the only thing you will see is my back. Do you subscribe to living such a life? <laughs> Let me worry about that. I know for sure that you will eventually love me. You know there is a saying that if you live with a monkey, you will learn to love the monkey. Yeah, that saying is true. And I agree. I agree. A monkey I could learn to love. I could learn to love. But I would never love a woman. Leave my house. Leave my house. And the next time you badge into my house like this, you wouldn't be so welcome. Go. <laughs> How do you now? I am so bad. To think I let you treat me like a piece of rag when there are a thousand and one young men out there dying to get this close to me. I'm doing you a favor here, you know, but obviously you do not appreciate it. <coughs> Steve, man. He has been so cold and disrespectful. Do you think I appear so cheap hanging around him despite his disregard? Not at all. You're such a wonderful woman. And I believe my son is lucky to have you in his beautiful. See, love is patience. And I need you to persevere. Honestly, I am sure my son never meant all he says to you. We have engaged, yet he feels so cold and distant. You know, I'm a very beautiful lady. There are a thousand and one young men out there daring to get this close to me. But here am I loving your son, but he has never thrown a glance at me, no matter how beautiful and sexy I look. You can't just conclude like that. Sure, he do. But honestly, as soon as both of you get married and move into the same house, my son can never run away from your charms and beauty. Sure, he will be so glad to you. You see, my son is complicated, I know. But obviously he has a good heart. So, China, relax. Relax. Give me that smile. I see that this business has made you to forget me. Hey. You left me here since morning. Since morning, I've not eaten anything. And you know I can't bear hunger. 
It's okay now. I'm sorry. Yeah? I'm so sorry. I didn't know that I would have enough customers today. Too many customers that their scrotum is not working well. I had to fix a lot of things. Yeah? I'm sorry. But I made a lot of sales today. <laughs> Don't worry. I will take you to a very nice restaurant. You will eat anything you want. Huh? One. Oh. Uh, Dave. So, you mean we can go out and I can order anything I want? Yes, but with your church mind, though, your <laughs> church mind. Uh -huh. And the thing now is that you have to order quietly. Don't order like a, a, an extravagant person. Order with your church mind. You understand? You know that I'm trying to save up money for your bleaching cream and soap and your house rent. Uh -huh. But you order something, you know, but with your church mind. Now you're talking now, huh? My girl. Okay. But I still don't like this business. I still don't like this business. Every day you must see a man's scrotum. I hope you're not touching anything. No? Which one is it? I'm not touching. Okay, I will just look the scrotum, but I will not touch. Are you okay? I'll manage. For now. Let me help so, you count. No, that one. That one, I'm saving it for rent. This one, I'm not, I want to separate them. Let me hold so take one. this one. Hold this one. I was hoping to see your fiancé once more. I mean, who would believe that you got engaged before me? Are you trying to get the words out of my mouth? How will I come with her when I don't consider her close? You have always hated girls. Right from when we were young, you hated girls and now women. What is wrong with you? Do you do men? Louis, you should be in the best position to answer that, considering you're my best friend. Have I made advances towards you? Maybe I am not your type. Oh, please. Maybe you are into someone different from me. God, what am I even saying? This is crazy. Look, Ramsey. What I am trying to say is that Gina is beautiful and drop dead gorgeous. You are either blind, insane, or well not to be into her. You still don't get the point, do you? What's the point? This has nothing to do with Gina. It has to do with women. Women in general. I hate women. Okay? I just dislike women. And Gina reminds me of the worst of them. A person that I have lived my entire life trying to get rid of. And who is this person? Who else? My mom. The chairwoman. Are we not supposed to look for our mothers in the girls that we want to marry? What are you saying? Lewis, if my mother was your mother, I am very sure you would not believe a word coming out of your mouth right now. Can we focus on doing your documentation and stop talking about women? Please, sit. Say whatever you have to say, boss. I have a meeting to attend. I called you out here to speak to you as my son, not as an employee. Can we talk about it later? We cannot use company time to discuss personal issues. I have work to do. What's your problem, Ramsey? The company you are talking about here and crying for is my company. I am the boss, the owner of the company. So now, the company boss wants to talk to her son. Can you please give me your undivided attention, please? All right, Mom. You have my undivided attention. Ramsey, do you know how difficult it was to get this marriage alliance with with Gina? Do you know how important it is to win this girl over so that you can succeed in your political pursuit? What am I saying? It will not hurt to be nice to Gina. Gina is a very nice girl. She has every good quality any mother out there would wish her to be her daughter-in-law. So, it would be nice you show this girl some love so that she can successfully get her father's support for you. That Mom. is all you need. Mom, 
I can get political success without her or her family's help. You think I need them, but I don't. That is where you get it wrong. That is where you get it wrong. Without a strong pillar like Gina's father. <laughs> My son, your political rivals and opponents will eat your life. This is why you need that girl. In fact, she is the key. She is, you, you are lucky to have her as the daughter of the senator. You, you don't care you. about my happiness, do you? You don't care about what I want. As long as you use me to attain power, right? You can even sell my soul to the devil. Who said that? <laughs> if you're done talking to me, please permit me to go and work for you so you can pay me. Ramsey, go your way. Thank you, boss. Hey, 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 stop. What is wrong with you? Why are you in my bed? There are a lot of rooms in this house that you could sleep. What, what are you doing here? You don't have respect. You don't have dignity. You don't have home training. Ramsey, that's enough. You're not permitted to talk to me in that manner. What is your problem? I am your fiancé. What's going on? I don't have feelings for you. I hate you. You disgust me. As a matter of fact, I need to go and shower because I am super irritated by your presence on my bed. In fact, I need to change this whole bed sheet. I might even buy a new bed. So please, get out of my Will bed. Will you just shut up? What is your problem? You're so mean and annoying. Okay. Who do you think you are? No, 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 you think you, you're great? Is, is that what you think? Oh, well, let me tell you, you're nothing but a weak man. Because it's only a weak man that will treat a lady like this. I don't blame you. It was a mistake coming over in the past place. Rubbish. Well, you know how your fiance can be when he wants to get a job done. He will tell you not to move an inch. How do you do? I'm fine. I'm sorry for interrupting your work like this. But I need to talk. Okay. There is no need to apologize. What's up? 
Your friend. His soul is like that of the devil. He is always angry and very mean. So I want to know, has he always been like this or is like this because of me? Well, he is not mean to me. He is mean to you and other women. Including his mother? Especially his mother. Ramsey is cold towards women because he hopes to live his life without their involvement in his personal space. <laughs> oh, okay. Did he suffer from any heartbreak, breakup? Because how do you explain his behavior towards women? Breakup? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ramsey has never dated all his life. He has never given his heart. He has been flying solo all his life. And he sees this engagement as a threat to his personal space and peace. <sighs> this is bad. <laughs> Your friend needs help. Because there's no way an healthy man who is not gay will not desire a touch of a woman or wants to be with a woman. Something is definitely wrong with him. And I am not sure I can deal with this. Well, you have to be patient with him, Gina. Just give him some time. I'm sure he would come around. You are beautiful and good looking. Any man would be happy to be in your life. Say that to your friend when next you see him. And yes, I have a mirror in my house, so I know I am very beautiful. Have a nice day. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Hi. Fine, Joe. How was your day now? Fine. Welcome. You need so you cannot greet. The last time I checked, you didn't have a toothache, and as such, your mouth is not paining you. So you go ahead and say hi. Are we age mates? Look, in terms of everything, we are not age mates. Of course, we are not age mates because you are a fool at forty. A guy that leaves off his girlfriend, forming fine boy and refusing to do anything. You are a parasite. Listen, if you say one more word, I will strike you. Are you mad? Look at you. That's why you don't have a man in your life. Hey. Ugly, touchy old bitch. Yes. Again, you are right. I am ugly. I don't have manners. So wait, if they call men, you will come out. No, Jerry, you will come out as a man. What makes you a man? Give me one reason why I should call you a man. Is it because of the thing in between your, your legs? Listen, I've warned you for the last time. Don't ever speak to me that way. Even dogs have it. Baby, are you going to sit here and watch her talk to me like that? Oh, enough! Enough, you two! Can't the two of you just greet yourself whenever you see? You must always insult yourself. Can't you agree for my sake? God forbid! With this person? With this? Never! This bleach mother... Mother... Baby, it's just because of you. I'm just holding myself because of you. What will you do? What will you do? You're not going to have strength. Bleaching don't remove all your muzzle. It's green, green, green. I'm seeing there's parogera everywhere. Look at you. I'm surprised that you're still here. After all the insults I dished the last time. What could this be? This is obsession, right? Because this, this could not be love. You deserve an award for trying to get a raise out of me. But listen, I'm not here to fight. I'm here to find out something. Does it not bother you that I'm about to end this engagement? No, it doesn't. My mother practically engaged you and I wasn't involved in it. So please go ahead, end it. Put me out of my misery. Even if it amounts to my father withdrawing his support. You don't mind? Read my lips. When I had dreams of becoming a politician, 
I never, ever wanted any of your father's help. Yes. You know why? Because I believe that hard work pays off. Dedication pays off. Persistence pays off. The victory is sweet when you walk for it, not when it is handed over to you. Because in life, when things come easy, they lose their value. Are we still talking about politics or you're referring to me? Did I call your name? I had a discussion with your fiancé the other day. It was quite an interesting one. You had a discussion with my fiancé? Did she ask you about my virility as a man? How did you know? Because she talked about it lately and, you know, she had a few questions because I haven't been responding to her touch and a few attempts at seduction. But tell me, man to man, best friend to best friend, are you okay down there? What kind of question is that? <laughs> Why would you ask me that kind of question? Look, if there is a problem, there is nothing to be embarrassed of. We can collectively seek a solution and then you can enjoy a healthy sex life with any woman of your choice. How can you have all this money and you are not enjoying women and you are not into women? Collectively seek a solution. Are you by any chance trying to tell me that I'm not okay down there? Do you blame me? Is any healthy man that would not uh, be into Gina? I mean, that lady is as beautiful and gorgeous as anything. By looking at her alone, any man would fall for her, but not you, my friend. And that is why I want to know if there is a problem down there. You know, by the way you talk about Gina, one would think you're in love with her. Look, if you're here to talk about sex, women, and Gina, please, I would advise you to leave my office. Fool. <laughs> Look, let me tell you, you need to give chairwoman grandkids. If I cannot give chairwoman grandkids, that's why I have my best friend. You fool. Can you? Are you, are you crazy? <laughs> You're such an idiot, you know that, right? Oh, I thought you were the better idiot. Oh well, that makes the bottom boss. <laughs> I'm really yeah, I'm Why is your face like that? You don't look happy. Sales has been low. Don't tell me that I've finished treating all the men with erectile dysfunction. I hope you're not praying for people's husbands to have accident down there so you can sell your markets. People who sell coffee, they pray for sales. And for sales to happen, people have to die for them to sell coffee. So it's not a bad thing if I pray for accidents down there. Yeah, you know they're crazy. My friend, you know the math's more small. See. My friend, smile now, smile. <laughs> Let me tell you, business is like that. Hmm? Some days, people will come from left, right, center, you wouldn't even expect it. And then some days, slow. Don't worry, you'll get used to the feeling, okay? Junis, hmm? I cannot wait for sales to come. I can't sit down here and wait. Eh, uh -huh. so those old men in your office, can you help me talk to them? 
tell them that in case they want to continue doing this stuff, that I have something to pump the fire in them out. Oh, okay, you, you, you mean I should go and tell my colleagues in the office that you have something to pump their thing? Mm -hmm. I don't mean your colleagues, I mean the older ones. Okay. That there's something as we that. Okay. Tell them that I have something that can awaken the oh, fire in them. Okay. Mm. The quarter to die? Mm. No, no quarter to die, old men. Okay, I should tell them yes. that you can pump their thing. Yes, beautiful. No, why don't you go and tell them yourself? I don't work in your office now. You don't work in my office? Uh. You didn't mad though. My friend, you are going crazy. You. Hey, you have to be crazy to make money in this life. That's one thing you don't know. You must be mad to make money in this life. You will not understand. You don't have responsibility. That's why you're talking like this. No responsibility at all. You won't understand. Hi. So what are your responsibilities? Cherry! My friend! If me and you... See, you did mad. Mm, I swear, you did mad. Something is wrong with you. And if me and you did talk, eh? No, they call that your babe name. No, they call that girl name for our, for our discussion. You hear me? Which girl? Jerry, your girlfriend. I don't understand. Jerry. Yes, the fine Jerry. girl. Jerry, that girl. Yes, very fine girl with shape and hips. If Jerry, that girl, what's that? You are the guy, the Odogu. Odogu, Mary. See, be a be. Fine man. Oh, you don't know. Ide, 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 Ide. You know you don't they drink the medicine too much. You have drunk it, you have come out. It's now six inch. You even have, <laughs> you have the, the lady spec. That one, no, they don't go. Mm -mm. Your son is not okay. Do you know he has never dated a woman since he was young? And do you also know he does not respond to a touch of a woman? Are you saying my son is not functioning well, Dandy? Gina. <laughs> you can't seriously be thinking that, are you? How else do you explain him not being affected by the touch of a woman? <sighs> Gina, if I can explain to you, my son grew up ready, putting all his time to achieve one great idea or the other. He never had time chasing around girls. He never gave his time to that. Not even for once. In fact, he sees girls as distraction and never wanted to have anything to do with any one of them. <laughs> Is that okay by you? Mm -mm. That nature of him makes him bad for the business of marriage. Get your son in line. Or I will seek another prospect and push my father's support somewhere else. It has not come to that. You don't take such a hasty decision. Give me time, I will talk to him. Hmm. This is lovely, baby. The fast food. No, boom, get fast food. That's my girl. That's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always making me proud. Thank you. I know that the last time I bought this kind of expensive food for you, mm -hmm. you did not enjoy it because of your niece insult. The food did not digest. That's why I said, let me buy you one to say sorry. But babe, you shouldn't be the one apologizing. You need to say sorry. She was wrong. You are saying you need to say sorry. You need to say that you want to say sorry. I've seen that you two can never agree in this life. But I've decided to keep the peace. Because you two are the most important people in my life right now. So, I'm saying sorry on behalf of you, miss. Mm -hmm. So, babe, are you saying that you always get me a nice meal like this anytime you need to insult me? Yes. Hey! <laughs> But don't go and be provoking her. Mm. Don't go and be provoking her because of what I said. Baby, it doesn't matter. As long as she insults me and you prepare something like this for me, I don't care. I can survive with her insults. 
This is very nice. Ah! I love you. Mm. Mm. I'm sure you know. Gina has been threatening to call off this relationship and shift loyalty. For often time I've been telling you this. And I'm here to tell you again. You need her father's support to become whosoever you want to become in the table of governance. You need his endorsement. And don't forget he runs the state. Okay. I don't see a point here. How? I'm expected to get married to a woman who I cannot stand. Because I, I want to be loyal to her father. Is that the kind of life you want me to live? Son, you've always wished to be a great person and do great things. So winning this election matters most now. The first and utmost thing you need to do is to win this election. Anyhow, after all, the end justifies the miss. I will win this election, but I will do it on my own terms and my conditions. And if Gina wishes to cut off the alliance, so be it. You deal with it. I am guessing you have spoken to your son and you have a decision. Gina, are you sure you love my son? If I don't love him, why would I allow myself to be engaged to him? Or you think I don't have other good looking men coming to ask for my hand in marriage? My question is far from that. I only ask to know if you think he's worth fighting for. Not at the expense of my pride and mental health. <laughs> yeah, I know my son is a special case here, right? You see, he has been like this. He hated women so much all his life. But he cannot live alone forever. So, you must do everything possible. Add more efforts to win him over. Make him understand that he is talked with you and should appreciate your presence. Yes, just work it out. <laughs> Let me understand you here. Are you saying I should beg for his love and acceptance? Far from that. I am saying you should hijack his heart. Yes. Take control of his heart. Win him over. Whatever it is you know you can do, just do it and make him be the man you really want him to and be. And how exactly am I supposed to do that? Gina, every woman has a magic in her. So, discover your magic and use it for your advantage. What is it? I want us to talk. It's late. We can talk tomorrow. Go back home. I can sleep over and be talk tomorrow morning. Sleep over? Mm -hmm. Why would you sleep over in a man's house that you're not married to? Didn't your parents teach you any better? Or are you not aware that sleeping in a man's house might make you look cheap? uncultured, and unmannered. Your mom was right after all. You saw all those mean things to scare me away from you. If you're not the worst jack that lives on earth, you will not send me on my way to slate and put my life at risk. Did I ask you to come here in the first place? Hmm? Why should I now be the worst jack on earth for sending you back to where you came from? 
tell me. If you don't value your own life, why should I? Come on, Ramsey. I don't buy it. Just tonight and by tomorrow morning I'm out of your sight. Okay, fine. Please, try as much as possible to stay invisible. Avoid my personal space. No, thank Not so fast. your plan to pretend to be scared to go home and then rape me rape oh, Ramsey. you know being engaged to you means I cannot be with another man come on baby baby I need to inside hey, 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 hey. so now you're playing the faithful sexually starved girlfriend is that it Oh, you, you think I'm going to fall for this? Listen to me. The next time you try to touch me without my permission, you will hear from my lawyers. You are unbelievable. What, what is wrong with you? No, you are sick. You are sick in the edge and you are sick in your private chamber. Your mom will hear about this. You're seeking there. You're seeking your privilege. Coming from the one who's sick. Mary, I am sorry to, to come this way. I couldn't wait for you to come back next week. There's fire on the mountain. What is it? That money I borrowed you. I need it. My mom needs it. It's about her health. Please. I really need that money, please. Hey, your mom is not so well. Yes. Hey. Hey. I, I was having this money just yesterday. But I noticed that um, Jerry's bleaching cream started giving him ratchets. So I ran to the supermarket to go and get a new one. That is it. I, I'm so sorry. Please, can you just give me some days to raise the money? Like how many days? How, how fast can you raise this money? I really need this money. Like, it's urgent, please. Hey. Hey. Um, maybe in a week time. Hey. One week. Ask Jerry now. Talk to him. Ask who? Jerry, talk to him. Jerry that has not eaten since morning. Do you know why I've been sitting here? I've been thinking on where to get money from to go and buy him food so he can eat. So how will you ask somebody that has not eaten since morning to give you money? How possible is that? Hey. Oh, I said it. That Mr. Marcos, I knew it. Eh? 
And when I was repairing his intata, he did not tell me that he did not have money. He waited for me to repair the intata. Then. Hi, <sighs> God. I'm just gonna kind of realize this now. Eh? Hey, God, save you this mother before I raise the money. Eh? And punish me, that, that man for me, that I repaid his intenta, that he has refused to give me money. Let his intenta fall back. He will look for me. So, the landlord threatened to kick you out. Relax, baby. Come on. You got this, okay? I know you figure it out. I mean, you always do. How? I work too hard, yet I earn very little, with so much responsibility. I can't afford you kicked out to the streets. Huh. Are you tired of me? Are you tired of taking care of me? Where's that coming from? Eh? Why are you talking like that? I love you, and I love taking care of your need. Good. Because I'm sure you know there are a lot of people out there who are begging for my attention. And some of them are big women with big cars and big houses. But I turned it down and said no. Why? Because I love you. Don't make me regret this. I'm sticking to you. You know what it means. It's okay. Check me out Fine now. Bobo. I'm Fine sticking Bobo. to you. Okay. I'm giving you love. It's not okay. My I'm, thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's just that I, I, I just I don't know why I, you just use the money I gave you. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to hear that. I, you figure this thing out. You always find a way. You're, you're a creative person. Ah, you don't want to stop saying this thing. Now you you're boring my game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll I'll I'll, 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 I'll figure it out. Oh, it's making some sense. So you mean? That your girl cannot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no verse, no verse. So you mean Jerry cannot pay his rent and you two cannot help him? It's complicated. I gave him the money for the rent, but he used it for something else. Now the landlord is threatening to kick him out. And you know it's going to be a disaster if he has nowhere to go to. Chai, I feel for you. I really feel for you. Do you know that? With the kind of hustle and hard work you put in, you would have gone far in life if not for that stumbling block you call a boyfriend. You know, I don't like it when you insult my man. I said it. You are the man in this relationship. No, you are the man in this relationship, but I am sorry. I really feel for you, my friend. See? You are struggling to survive. And then you carry the responsibility of a full grown adult all to yourself. A man that has refused to make good use of himself. Babe. True, true. I feel for you. I go pay you your money. I will pay you your money. This is my plan now. Everything just go well. I'll pay you your money. I have plans. I have plans to raise money. Trust me, it's true. It's true. Mm. So, how do you hope to <laughs> raise the money? By visiting corporate bodies. See, let me tell you the truth you don't know. So you know these big men. They are the ones that are suffering from this erection disorder. Yes! Mm. They are the ones. They suffer more than poor men. Who, you know why? Because of the chon chon chon, everything they will eat. Sugar, water, ice cream, water, chon, oh, anything. Everything they will be eating and eating. So the thing will now we die that place. Mm. So they need it. Since they don't want to come, I will go to them. I'm going to take solution to them just there. One by one. Good afternoon, sir. I used to say something that will help you raise. It's true. Mm. It's true. Mm. Ah, it's true. It's good. That's a lot. From experience. You, you know. Yes. Ah, doctor. You rule logistics. No, you, you are good. Traditional. Traditional, my friend. <laughs> you can walk. <laughs> it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Anyways, make sure you dress well and speak good English. You know these rich men, they like to look down on poor people. Speak good English. I just told you now, if I arrive there, good morning, sir. Mm. My name is Mimi. Mm. I used to say something that will help your this thing to move. Mm. Is it not good enough? Something that will help your this thing to move. 
I don't you cannot call the name. You just say this thing or something. If it's that rich, will help you to stand. Or, to stand. No, no, tell them that no, my no, name no, is no, Mary. No, no, say stand. This game, don't leave the market. Let me get Wait, let me let me tell you. Talk my name you. is Mary. I have something that can raise your death team to life. Your dry bones shall rise again. Mm. Strategy! Wisdom! <laughs> your dry bones shall rise again, sir. No, dead people. I don't want, I want to involve dead people in my business. Your dry bones shall rise again. Good day, mom. Good day, son. How are you? Very well. Charlie, you look stressed. Thanks for noticing. Even my son Ransi has never taken time to notice how stressed I've been. Oh. Your friend is giving me so much stress. Ah, I hope you talk to him. Gina emphasized on the possibility of getting treatment for Ramsey that he's, he may be sick down there. Are you aware of that? Have you ever seen him hard? Um. Charlie, I do not have answer to that question. I mean, you are asking if I've ever seen his manhood hard. I, I mean, why should I look at that? Why should I? Yes. Why should you when you're not into men? But please, can you do me that favor? Chairwoman, are you asking me to spy on Ramsey in his private moment to see if his manhood will get hard? Exactly what I want you to do. Else. Talk it over with him and say if actually he needs a doctor. Yes, I can have the conversation with him to know if he's fine, but I can't spy on him in his private moment. I mean, it's weird. It's okay. You're right. I'll talk to him and I'll get back to you. It's okay. Uh, have you blessed with him, Mom? Okay. So, how are you? Good afternoon once again, ma. My name is Mary. I am the CEO of Private Issues and Fix. Private Issues and Fix? Yes. What's that all about? What do you sell? Um, I specialize on um, dealing with um, root herbs. That's herbs, men, genital erection. It's, it even increases libido. Some people that their libido has already it decreased, it will increase it, then it helps those that their Tanta has with that. It helps it to wake up from sleep. I see. Yes, ma'am. So, you're a traditional urologist? Anything you call it, it goes. That one will follow. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, ma, actually, I would have showed you my product. It's just that your security people said I should drop all my belongings at the reception. But of because course you should. Uh, Would so, you have carried it in here? No, so, so, no, yes, ma. I know. I won't have. It's true because of security. I understand, ma. So, Emboma, I actually came here to take permission from you since you are the CEO of this company. That I want to be selling my products. I want to advertise it here. If there's any man or woman that has a, a issue, especially men with their genital problem, in case their genital is not. Rising, I can help. It's okay, I understand all you want to say. It's okay. Okay, ma. Yeah, I think I have someone. Uh, Nana? <laughs> ma, my, my product works, so it's not a joke. This one is not even, I'm not just a normal person that's coming to come advertise product. Never. I am an abnormal person coming to bring good products for you that will help. You see that person? By the time I finish with that person, ma. <laughs> Mm -hmm. you, you will see that that your husband, things will change for him. It's not my husband. Okay. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. That's mm -hmm. your husband. Uh, the problem here is this person may definitely not want to drink your product. I don't know how you get it to work. Can you do a private check? Maybe get off the street and give this person all your time. Ma, if I'm if I can get you correctly, you said you want me to stay with the person. Of course. What if the person does not agree that he's sick down there? 
How am I going to get that fixed? I can't fix his problem. That is why you're fixing this person. Should be a secret between you and I. He's my son. Ma. So? Uh, you, you are trying to tell me that I should go and stay with your son to fix his uh, problem. As soon as you move in with him, I will give you two million naira. Ma. So, just like that? Yes. For just an easy work like this to go and give your son my abs, let his data work. Just tell me how soon you can start. Two million naira. Is it too much? So I should just go and fix your son's intanta for two million naira, just like that. For for such an easy work. Your job may be easy. But Getting it done with my son is not easy. He is not such an easy person to get to know. So as soon as you're able to get close to him, verify that he's active downstairs, then fix him up. I will give you another two million naira. Yeah. Before I fix him, you give me two million. As soon as you move in with him. After I finish my work, you give me another two million. Sure. Uh... <sighs> Ma, there's no problem, but you have to give me time to think about it. Hey. Take your time. But don't keep me waiting for too long. Yes, ma'am. Also, drop your contact with my secretary, okay? That would get. Um, sorry, it's okay. No, I'll, I'll drop my contact. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. <coughs> You're welcome. You are owing me, and yet you buy something so expensive. Do you even want to pay? Maybe, see? Mm -hmm. Look at the kind of friend you're keeping. After spending huge money buying her such an expensive gift, she's still asking you for money. Ingrid. You should shut up because she's in this debt because of you. What less ingrates? It's okay. It's okay. Enough. Ah. See. I understand I'm owing you. I am going to pay you. You miss, please. Do not allow the fear of me not paying you. Make you not to enjoy this good meal. I spent money in buying them. Yeah? Enjoy it. I spent money to buy this food because I have good news for you. But I want to tell you for good news. What good news is that? Are you finally dumping Jerry for someone better? Oh, oh, oh. Is that your prayer? So you want her to be miserable and lonely just like you? Ha! Huh. So now tell me, when was the last time a man touched and refreshed you? So look at you. You're gradually rusting from lack of oil and refreshment. Jerry! I pity you. Hey, it seems like to fresh, not to bleach. Oga, okay? with a bleach, but your skin will really shine still. You hear me, Jerry Quell? Enough. Please, you push allow me break my good news before I forget. See, I've gotten a new job. So I'll be off the streets for some time. Why? There's this big woman. This sheer woman. She wants me to take care of her sons in Tanta. You understand? Eh, so, and it's coming with big money. Like this is a life-changing opportunity. I'm so happy. This is what I've been praying for. My friend, my friend, congratulations. Like, God, I am so happy for you. At least, suffer will reduce. And you stay in that big house will give you the opportunity to eat good food and worry about nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. Hey, babe, go and raise the team. My friend, <laughs> you fix him. Make sure he's working. If you know what, drag. I don't understand. What do you mean by private job? You want to move into another man's house to fix his erection? <laughs> now tell me, after fixing the erection, will he use it on you? <laughs> no, 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 this is unacceptable. I can't have you do that. You have to stop this business. People are laughing that my girlfriend is giving men hand job in the name of fixing their member. I understand you. But you should also remember that this is the business that puts food on our table. 
See, that thing you are scared of will not happen. Eh? It will not happen. Babe, can you listen? And we don't even know. We are not sure if he's sick down there until I check it. Check, my friend. Listen, listen, listen. All this trash you're talking is not even helping matters. You are not doing that job, and that is final. You either choose between that job and our relationship. And I'm serious. If you're choosing that job, then we'll break up now. Everybody will go there, won't we? My friend. My friend, look at me. My friend. My friend, look at me. Look at me. Oh, thank you, Lord, for this job. Father God Almighty, we prayed, we fasted. I even went to the mountain for this job. God bless you, sir. Thank you. My friend, go there. Possess your possession. Look at Sap me. it. Drag it. Let it You're work. You're not doing that job. <laughs> my friend. You hear what I said? Ah, uh, you still want to eat? Ah. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for this job. God bless you. Which other one do you do? You see this one now. This is the barbell. You can see the sizes. Mm. So you can use it for, for different things. Mm. Yeah. This is what you connect the barbells to. The weight. And then you use it. Who is calling you? I hope it's not one of those men pretending to be sick downstairs that are calling you. No, it's that chair woman, the woman that's offering me a job. You told me not to accept it now, so there's no need picking her call. At least my relationship is more important than any job or money. Good girl. <laughs> How much are we even talking about? Two million naira before the job and two million naira balance after the job. <laughs> That is four million. Uh -huh. Four million now. No. That's that's a lot of money. Four million naira. Yes. Babe, it's a lot of money now. Babe, babe don't, don't you know that with such money we can say goodbye to poverty, and then you can finally buy me a car and a house. Hey, babe. So finally. You are going to buy me a car. Inside the formula. Mercedes Benz. And then we'll travel to the village and you renovate my family's house. And then buy me the latest iPhone 15. Oh my god, I love you. How will the family? Yes. Are you trying to say that I should take the job? Um but, but, but first, you have to give me one million naira. So I can take care of my feeding and this accommodation. That is not a problem. You know I love you so much. I will do anything for you. My body and my money belongs to you. You oh, know that now. Why I you love you like too. I love you too. Babe, I love you. Look, as long as you keep to your promise, there is no problem. Call her. Call her. Call her. Tell her you've accepted the job. You have my approval. Kiss me again. I will kiss you everywhere. Call her. <laughs> I have something special. Call her first. <laughs> Four million. <laughs> Babe, we are rich for life. Hmm. So he finally agreed. I am sure you told him what he stands to gain. That guy doesn't love you. Cha cha. He doesn't mind selling you off as long as you continue to buy his bleaching cream and feed him. Jerry loves me. I don't know why you don't see it. You, did you see the way he reacted that day when I told him that I was going to work on someone privately? Did oh, you see his reaction? You think that was out of love? Wait, you think that was out of love? Man is angry that his mother is going to meet someone cool and leave him. Girl, you are his most prized possession. I mean, who would want to joke with the food on their table? That's it. You are the food on his table and the roof over his head. I don't just know why you don't like Jerry. I don't know why. Well, I know you don't support our relationship. That's by the way. I'll be having a meeting with the chairwoman in an hour time. So I beg, I need to talk. So how far does this service get? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Like how? Wait. 
You mean like sleeping with him? Hell no. I won't try that rubbish. Me that I'm in a serious relationship. Of course, you are in a serious relationship. And you are the only one in that serious relationship. Four million for grabs. Babe, I am saying go as far as whatever it takes and never hold back because of that Uma Rapada you call a boyfriend. Babe, grab it. Embrace it. Hold it. Chest it. My girl, lie down on top. If you hold back. Hmm? If you try and if you hold back. <laughs> Serious relationship. Yes, you are. See how serious your Facebook. You are single, I beg. I can see you've taken your decision. So what did you arrive at? Ma, I am I'm here to tell you that I've agreed to go go and stay with your son. To help him fix his his problem. <sighs> I'm glad. You came back. It's okay. Um, like I said, moving in with my son and living with my son would be more difficult than verifying his state of erection. So my son cannot stand the sight of you if he happens to know why you are moving in with him. So, you just have to keep to your lane. I must be sincere to you. Living with my son will be more difficult than finding out the state of his erection. It's your son is a very strict person. <laughs> it's very stone-hearted. Anyway, however you say it, strict person is an understatement. He is this kind of a person that, in fact, he's hard to get. He's not easy to come by. So you just have to keep the rules. Don't cross any line to entertain any feelings. Keep it professional, like I said. He's engaged. Don't forget that. If it needs to be fixed, fix it and get out of the picture. Man, don't be scared of that one. Me, I have a boyfriend, so I'm not even interested. I love my boyfriend very well. So that thing you are scared of will not happen. Don't leave it. Okay. That sounds wonderfully reassuring. No problem. So, we'll get into that tomorrow. So, how, what is the plan? How do I get in? How are you going to know? Like I said, he need not know. You just have to disguise like a maid. Maid? Yes. Good afternoon, sir. So today you did not come with colors of food. You come with a weird looking human being. And hey, have I met you before? God forbid, Barton. You have not met me before, sir. You have not met me. Maybe somebody that looks like me, that's why. Ransi, this is Mary. She has come to stay with you as your maid. To cook for you and do all the chores in the house, okay? I'm sure you don't like the way I frequent this place. Mother, you need to take her back with you. I don't need a maid. I can cook. 
and I can clean for myself. No worries. I don't need your help or anyone else. Okay, no problem. Hey, come back help. here. I say no to that. You can't continue running around from kitchen to room doing all the chores yourself. No. She will do it. If you insist she go, then I will pack in with you. It's fine. She can stay. Good. But I assure you she wouldn't be here for long. Okay. I'm sure she'll find out she cannot work for someone like me. It's okay. Just show her to her room and be patient with her. I'm sure with time too, you will appreciate her. You can show her the room yourself. My daughter, please come, John. Follow me. So as soon as the files are ready, I'll let you know. Yeah, on the other hand, you can send an assistant. That is if you cannot make it to the meeting. All right. Okay, as soon as I get the notification, I will call you back. Thank you. Ah, uh, no problem. You know you don't have to try and impress me and break your back. You work for my mother, not me. Then why did you allow me to stay? Because having my mother here living with me is a disaster, one I cannot control. You, on the other hand, are not a disaster, but I can control you. You are so uncultured. How can you speak of your mother that way? Shut up. You're amazed. And you should know your place. Now, for starters, I'll give you the rules to this house. Don't come close to me. If your body as much as brushes any part of my body, I will fire you. If you come close to my things, I will fire you. Maintain your room and parts of the house that I do not occupy. When you see me, pretend like you did. Am I understood? Take this away, I don't want it. Yes. You don't want you I said take it so. away. What say I can't walk then? What a bloated looking animal. Why are you washing his car? Eh? Do doctors wash car for their patients? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Is he that sick in his downstairs that he cannot? Oh, shh! Shut up! Naga! What is wrong with you? Do you want to expose me? Don't you know that it's only me and his mother that knows that I, I, I'm here to treat him? He thinks I am his house girl. What? What kind of a man that is sick and does not know he's sick? Look. I won't have you doing any house chores for anybody. I won't take it. And if he looks at you anyhow, eh, I will come here and break his head. Break Who does he think he is? Break which person's head. What are you talking about? I am here to walk. Have you forgotten yourself? Do you know how much is at stake? You know. You know the millions remaining. So you want to just jeopardize everything. Please, oh, just allow me to do this job. Let me collect our balance and go in peace and not in pieces. Respect yourself. Let me respect mine. I'm telling you. Please, you have to stop coming here. Please, you have to just reduce it. Stop coming here. You have to do this for me. I'm begging you. I'm not promising you anything, okay? But just make sure you're a good girl and he doesn't look at you anyway, okay? He's not looking at me. You sure? I, I'm not a speck. He's not my speck. I know how I left everything. I know what I'm telling everything you. Everything is in that. Better. 
Is there food anywhere? I'm hungry. And go outside the gate. I will package something for you. Just yeah. go outside and wait. I miss you. Hmm? Oh, stop holding me you. now. Stop. You know big men. They used to get angry. Let him not go and change it for you. I will beat him up. Beat who? What can he do? You fair it before you are beating somebody. Be going. Be going. your mother in law brought. Her name is Mary. Uh, you are welcome. Consider. Will you shut up? I do not need your stupid permission to sit in my man's house. No problem. Let me go and continue my family problem. I was actually doing so to this Hold on. Why so serious? With the way you're acting, someone would think we're intimately involved. Oh, please don't flatter yourself. You know, it's actually funny how you can stand a common maid but cannot stand me, your fiancé. She's living with you. <laughs> wow. Well, because a maid knows to keep her distance, a maid I can control. But you and my mom, I cannot. Because you guys feel entitled to my space, my life, and my time. I don't like that girl. Listen, there's something about her that I'm not comfortable with. Imagine the fool asking me to sit in my man's house as if she owns this place. And I like the way you're feeling. I love it. So tell your mother-in-law to come and get this thing out of my house. Because you, my mom, the maid, I hate all of you. As a matter of fact, I hate women. Women disgust me. I'm trying to have a nice day. You placed a maid beside him without saying anything to me. Do you know how surprised I was seeing her there? <laughs> Jada, that shouldn't be a problem to you. You know, my son, he is that kind of a person that can never admit he has a problem. Even if he has, he wants to keep it to himself. So, this girl is a disgusting maid. Yes. She's a traditional urologist that specializes in treating male genital dysfunction, like low libido. Oh, wait, let me get you right. Are you saying that you placed her there to fix him while he believes she's just a maid? <laughs> exactly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> just to find out and be sure that boy is good downstairs. Okay? If he's not, she'll fix him and disappear out of the picture. Gina, I just want you to have a good sex life with my son when both of you get married. Hmm. It sounds like a good plan. But I'm very, very uneasy about that girl. Why? I mean, there's something about her that I can't really figure out. Okay, what if in the process of she trying to fix him, she manages to move him in the way I felt too? What happens? <laughs> China, did I ever heard you say my son hates women? Believe me, that girl cannot move my son to stoop so low. He cannot. So he can do that. My son is not that kind of a person. He, in fact, he's not even saying her. And you know that. So 
That shouldn't bother you at all. Okay? Just rest it there and let her sort it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, um, music so loud Jenny. do you have a business down there yes ma'am how big is it excuse me um, I mean how big is your tantac um, I'm asking how big is this can I talk hey to don't you ever try that again I will arrest you for sexual assault. Hey, sexual what assault again? Because I said I should see your tanta. I just said you should give me five seconds. Let me see how big it is. If it's big or if it's small, or if it's malnourished. That's what I want to check. Are you okay? Are you drunk? No. Are you on drugs? No. I you were sexually objectifying me, and I detest it. I'll pretend this never happened. And you will stop with all your sexual innuendos. Do you understand me? All this be big English because I said I should see you on Tanta, whether it's big or small. Ah, sorry, no, don't be offended. Sorry. Not even up to the one I used to. Pick that up and please don't increase the music. Stop that nonsense. Oh, man. Those stretch marks are an unpleasant sight. You should wear things that will cover them and not expose them. They're a ton of. I could introduce you to my cosmetologist so she could help you get rid of them. Please. I am sure she'll be very expensive, considering the fact that she attends to only rich customers like you. Then I will Me, I'm foot just the a bill. Rich. I don't have money. I will foot the bill. In the meantime, please do not wear things that will expose them. It is a ton of.
more than you sent for me, ma. Oh. My soon-to-be mother-in-law told me that you are here as a fertility expert. I am assuming that you are a professional. By the grace of God, not by my own grace. Yes, I am. And you know that as a professional, you are to stick to your job and not get personally involved. I'm sticking to my job, Mao. Me, I came here to come and do my job as soon as possible and just go, because I want to go. So I'm, I'm sticking to my job, ma. Hmm. Good to know. Keep it professional. Yes. Don't ever lose the tiniest feeling of taking my man. We are engaged. Oh, us is a powerful alliance. I am sure you don't want to be the grass that will be trampled on when the elephants are fighting. What I know is that I, I, I came here to do my work. As soon as the job is complete, I will just get paid and get out. Ha! I want to just start going. Don't waste time. I will do my job professionally. Yes, ma. Make sure you don't forget your words. I will not forget, ma. Thank you, ma. Use pink slippers. I bought it. Get out. Okay, I wanted to join you with the peanuts. I used to like peanuts. It's okay. I really missed you, my friend. Mm. Ah, I'm beginning to hate this your job. It's taking you away from me. Don't you have an off day? For me? It's a 24 hours round the clock job. So, depending on when that. Mm, I get. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> ah. Okay, tell me. How is he? Handsome? Well mannered? A gentleman? Charming? Uh -uh. He is the meanest person I've ever seen on this earth. I'm telling you. He talks to people anyhow. He lacks humanity. He does not know how to talk to somebody. Very rude. He even talks to his mother anyhow. So how are you coping with him? By maintaining my distance. If he's here, I'll be here. Huh. I don't come close to him more. I just concentrate on his intanta, depending on when he tries. <laughs> Babe, this job is beginning to make you look like a pervert. Hi, I feel for you, my friend. I feel for you. Pity me, I need it. Try. I pity you. <laughs> Speaking of, see, you need to call that your boyfriend, Jerry, to other. That guy spends like a maniac. He's now the biggest boy in town. Like, he spends without control. I am sure he'll soon run back to you, crime book, because he will soon spend that one million that you gave him. Uh -uh. Mm. What is wrong with that boy? Which money is he spending? Your money, the one million you gave him. My money? Yes. Wait, oh, I, 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 don't, I don't understand. Is it that Cherry thinks I smile, then people give me money? Does he know the insult I've been collecting in this house? So wait, I don't understand. Wait, wait, wait. He does not know how I managed to make this money. Yet he's spending it anyhow. I see. He's spending the money anyhow. I don't blame him. There's no problem. He's not the one coming to treat someone that he does not know whether the person is sick or not. He does not know. He does not understand the kind of pressure. I'm... Well, there's no problem. The kind of insult. Ha! Ah, he's he's spending my money. I don't want to believe it. Now you give him green light now. No, I don't want to believe it. You are encouraging I don't just him. Want to believe it. Jerry's spending my money, money that I gave him to help his, his life. Tom. He's spending it. It's true. Mm. You see him. He's buying chungum and sweets. Ah, he's. He, he, I say he's spending, he's not the biggest boy in town. If you see the way he dresses right now, you got a spray cash for air. Uh, Bellonia. <laughs> With your money. <laughs> so tell me, this guy, is he your speck? Is he handsome? Charming? 
Which guy? This guy. This guy? No, he's not my speck anything. No. His bleaching has not bleached to the kind of bleaching that I like. Hmm. Yes. His skin is not... His, his skin is dark yellow. I don't like it. He has to bleach to the color of Jerry before he can attract me. Hmm. You know, I like them bleached. Hmm. It's because the guy is still a man and Jerry is a girl. That is the reason why you don't like the guy. Yes. Think about it. The guy is still a man. Mm. Yes, Jerry, Jerry is still a gay. gay. Yes. That's why I've not liked him. Mm. And you, you are a man too. Because you are not like Jerry. Your color is dark yellow too. Yes, yes, my dear. Check it, check it. It's true. So you finally remember you have a boyfriend. Come baby, come. You see this wine? It's very expensive. And I feel like a big man knowing I can afford this. Cheers to the good life. So it's true, Jerry. Everything I've been hearing is true. Jerry. What have you heard from your boring, worthless, blabby friend? That I had just one girl a night and she ran to tell you? Can't you see that stupid girl is trying to break our relationship? Are you too blind that you can't see it? Jerry! Hmm? You cheated on me last night with a girl? Oh, I see she didn't tell you. Well, it was a mistake. I mean, the weather was very cold. And you were busy trying to verify an erection. I had mine up. I needed verification. So, I, I, I met the girl and, you know, it, it just happened. I didn't enjoy it. I left you for just few weeks and you've already started cheating on me. Shame on you! Come, come. come. May! May, come on, baby. Come, come back! Mary! Badge into my room like that. Hey, I said, what are you looking at? No, Vess, I'm sorry for badging. Get out! out of your room like that. I said, get out! You don't agree with me again. Sorry. I will stone you with my laptop. Institution. Okay, so um, tell me, besides asking you the size and wanting to touch, what else did she do? So the other day, right, I was just coming out of my bathroom and then I picked up my laptop. I said I should check a couple of emails before, you know, I proceed. And she barged into my room. She was just... Is that not crazy? So tell me, did that goodness turn you on? Like, did you have any kind of feeling inside of you? No, no. I know. And 
Trust me, I know exactly what you're talking about. But this is not about turn on or not. Turn. She had this kind of curiosity in her eyes. All right? It's not like she was checking out my size or something. I suspect that there's something going on between my mom and this maid. And I need to figure it out before they find a way to make me crazy. Tell me. Okay. What if there is nothing? What if she is just a maid feeling you? Can't you just be a human for once and indulge? It is not as if you are considering Gina in this. Rose, I am here telling you about a conspiracy going on in my house. And you are telling me about indulging. Look, my body wants none of this. Okay. When has your body ever wanted anything? You know, lately I'm sick of you coming to my office and trying to talk about my personal life. You started the conversation. Oh yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> so yeah, about work, yes, right? Yes, work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was looking at um, a couple of spaces for your new office. to catch you on your phone. You're lucky you didn't break my phone. Excuse me. Please excuse me. You cannot even help me up. Hey. Hi. You cannot even help me up. Nah. Your heart is too strong like stone. It will rock, Seth. Hi. What kind of work is this? Sincerely, I'm Ramsey did this to you. What? Is that how you think of me? That I will hurt a woman. He, he, I, he allowed me to sleep here. I thought he was going to catch me. He just allowed me. I just fell on the floor. He bo why, bagada? He did not catch me. My hips just. What a mean Change. Jack. You know he's so selfish. Always looking out for himself alone. Of course, I will look out for myself. And she should be careful next time not to create incidents. Otherwise, I would not be a victim to it. And I'm not going to sit here and watch you emotionally blackmail me. Ha. You can take care of your cry, baby. Excuse me. Oh, so how did you fall? You don't want him thinking you're clumsy? Ha. There's no clumsy inside this one. I was here and it's one of my strategy. I poured water on the floor, thinking that maybe if I want to fall, he will catch me. For oh, yeah. The way your son avoided me like a trailer that fed break, eh? I was just seeing myself some assault in the next in the head on the ground. He boy, Yarakata. That's how my waist just scattered on the ground. Hi. I'm telling you, this is your son. Hope it that I am missing. Pity. I'm sorry about that. I don't know how you put in me. Hi. But hear me. That Strong wouldn't stop you. Hmm? Yes, ma. Try it more. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Add more efforts. I will show him. I should add more effort. Hmm. In this my waist. Mm. Don't Try. Worry. Don't worry. I will take care of it, okay? Mm. It's, it's well with my son. No problem, ma. Thank you. Drag, drag this thing down. And stop wearing skimpy dresses. I don't like it. That's how they made the dress now. They made it to be up. The fashion is up, not down. Hi! There is nothing anybody will tell me this guy. This man, his thing is not working. His entire is not working at all at all. Huh? Which one is it? 
do all this on my bending and everything, yet nothing come out. I will just tell his mother, Madam, your son's mutanta is not working. There's nothing they can tell you. I will just tell you, Madam, your son's something is not working. Man, I don't know what she's up to. But whatever it is, I know she's up to no good. My God, tell me that. I guess we are talking about the mysterious maid. Yeah. You know, she's always trying to touch me sexually. She's, uh, you know, trying to touch me down there. Establish body contact here and there. I don't know why. Then you should ask her. I mean, you have tried figuring this out yourself and you're not getting answers. Ask her, have that conversation with her. I know, I know, I... I want to have the conversation, right? But I'm afraid that having that conversation with her will cause her to stop. You know, and I kind of like... You know, I like it. I like the way she is around me. And the other day, she, she wore this very tight revealing outfit and, you know, and actually she has a banging body here. I, I kind of like, liked it. <laughs> Hold on, um, is this really my friend? Because I'm very confused right now. You, you've been complaining about this maid, how you are not comfortable and all, mm -hmm. but on the other hand, you are simply having the best time of your life, like, you are having fun. What's going on? Ah. Uh, ah. Well, well, well. I just know she's up to no good. And I will figure it out. Okay. All right. Okay. What are you doing here? Have I not told you that my old boss does not like visitors coming to his house? Have I not told you? What are you talking about? Huh? When I'm about to die of hunger, you're talking about your boss. Die of which hunger? Don't tell me you have spent one... one million naira in a month. Don't tell me that. What are you even talking about? Is one million naira a big money like that? Look, if you're a big spender like me, you know that one million naira is nothing. Um, I'm very broke. Please, come and find something for me. Even mm. if it's 500, anything. I should find which thing? As your bank now. Don't even try it. Don't try it. What do you mean? You sp See, you have never contributed anything in my life. You can't even make me to be productive. Then the little one I have, you want to make me dry. You know that they are not going to pay me until I'm done with the work, so I have nothing to give to you. That means you have failed. Eh? Yes. Chimo. How can you not be able to dictate a man's boner in one month? Look. It's either that your boss is important or you're not looking closely enough at the right time. Quit this job and go back to sweeping the streets. Be a proper maid and earn money weekly to come back and take care of me. Look at me, I've lost weight drastically. Even the iPhone 15 Pro Max you promised me, I have not seen it. You have not started losing weight. I am sorry to disappoint you. I am not going to quit any job. This is my only opportunity to leave poverty and I will not throw it away. Never. Really? Yes. Mary. It's either you quit this job now or I will end this relationship. So you choose. But before you choose, remember that there are lots of girls out there, rich, beautiful, who are begging for my attention. So consider what you stand to lose. And don't forget how I used to take you to Cloud9 and back. Eh, I don't want any Cloud9. I'm tired of Cloud9. It's money Cloud that I need now. So don't even start that one with me. Well. I'm going to break up with you, but it's a temporary breakup. It's not a permanent one because I love you so much. <laughs> so if you want to follow any girl with your own cup of tea, you can follow the girl. But for now, I choose my work. So go and follow the girl. When I make the money, when I'm done with this work and they pay me, I'll come and take, no, I'll come and remove, mm, I'll come and take you from the girl that, that snatched you from me. So it's that's fine. It. Yeah. Fine. For now. You have made your decision. This relationship is over! I don't want to see you again. I don't want you to call me. I don't want to see you close to me. You're going to regret it. Nonsense. Regret, which thing? Regret fire. 
Which one is the Look at him. Some, are, some has even darkened him. The bleach now that I have not make me to like him, his color self has already withered. He's saying that, that, that. that. I don't like to be served with a frowning face. The food can choke the person trying to eat it. Can, can you at least try and put up a smile? With all due respect, Oga, okay, I thought you were minister of I don't care. You that talk to your mother anyhow. You talk to your fiancé anyhow. You talk to anything in this house, everything, this chair, everything in this house. You talk to them anyhow, including me. So why are you not concerned about how I keep my face? If I smile or I cry, is it, is it your business, Oga? Okay? Mary. Sorry. Now that you've gotten that off your chest, it might surprise you to know that I, I never have spent more than a day with a woman. But I don't know how I'm able to live with you under the same roof. understand you very well. You mean I should go and thank my God that you, me and you, we are in the same on that, we are, we are on that one roof together. That means I should be clapping Hosanna, Hosanna in the air. So thank you oh, that I'm with Minister, Minister of Agriculture and everything. Oga, no problem. With all your respect, sir. Sorry, sir. I'm not raising my voice, but Oga, no, can you sit? leave that matter. Sir? Please sit. Yeah. Oga, yeah. Is, it, is it me? Your house said that you should sit down in your broad chair. Yes, please, sit. Thank you, sir. Let us forget the fact that I I can be a jerk and concentrate on what's eating you up. It's, it's not like I care, but I, I want to hear about it. Oh, oh God. Oh, God, don't suffer for this life, I didn't tell you. Man, don't suffer me, I didn't tell you. Oh, God, don't do anything do for my boyfriend. Everything what they do for this life, he approves and disapproves of them. My body, my money belongs to him. I suffer for him. Okay? Oh, he bleach cream. I mean, they go to the market, go buy them. Every day, they go to the market, they ask some new new ones. I go save money, go buy them. You know, see, I never tell you, see, uh, they are attracted to people when they bleach. Then make, and then make when everybody does say what I like you. I don't like your guy because you, you be, you day dark, your lay yellow day dark. I they like men when they shine, when they bleach, where, where. You understand? So this thing pay me. He pay me because now me they buy all the cream when this boy they room. I didn't buy a sofa, okay? He, he go rich now. He just throw away me like say I no matter at all. He just end everything we concern me and man. You know who consider? Say, say. I the ever they go to find the latest cream for market. He paid me, okay? Now the thing they frustrate me now just they use anger. They knock your plates and use anger cook your food. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I know they like cry for front of man. No, no, best. No, best. I am. I am very bad with relationship advice. I mean, look at me. My my engagement is a transaction. But from everything you've said, I I can see that you deserve better. And this is an opportunity for you to become better. If you continue with him, he will drag you down. So now is a good time for you to say goodbye. And it's over. And pick up from where you left off. 
Okay? Oh God, I'm move on. I'm the payment. I want move on. But I don't tell her say I don't break up partially. I don't want move on. But it's okay. Oh God, thank you. Everything you tell me, I like him. It's it's a, it, it it affects me. I, I, I like everything. The advice you gave to me. God bless you, sir. I hope I've been able to comfort you. Yes, sir. You don't comfort me, no. Thank you, Oga. God bless you. Madam, thank you. Oga, if you go back to the kitchen. Yeah, sure. <laughs> go on, I go for this journey. <laughs> go on, I go for this journey. Tell me for this summer, summer, and buy me chicken for now. I go for this. 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 Get out of my bed! Jesus Christ! Are you okay? Hi! Ghost! You felt it, right? Shabi, you are something stand. You, you felt the touch, Shabi. Say the truth. Oh, there was no ghost, right? There was ghost now! You know see where they appeared? Shut up! You did this because you were trying to establish body contact, right? But say the truth, I want to ask you one question and be very honest with me. When my body touched your body, did your tanta not stand up? Did he not stand up? So your tanta did not stand up? Get out of my room. Yeah, and if you know. try this again, I would hit you with my both hands. Ntanta! I said, get out of my room! Ha! Ah! I can't even have peace in my own house.
What are you doing on my bed? Hey, allow me now. Remove the duvet. Let me tell are you what you I'm mad? checking. I would have finished by now. Wait, are, are you high? I want to confirm something. There's a problem. Wait, I... is there something you take? Why are you so obsessed with my crouch? Why? Does it look like sausage roll to you? No, it's not sausage roll. Eh? You would have allowed me. See, this thing, I think it's not the way you are playing, but hard, hard, hard to get. I would have finished my experiment since and check. Listen eh? to me. How come five o'clock? If you try this again, I will fire you. And I don't care whatever threats my mom wants to issue. Now get out of my room. Why would you want Tanta not to rest? Look, if you do not get out of my room this moment, you will not like me. Yay. I don't, you, I don't, you will not understand. I said get, 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 get out of my room, get, get out. Ah, get out of. I'm so sorry to hear about your breakup. I know how much you love him. Yes. But he was selfish this time. So selfish. He wanted me to choose between him and my future. He wanted to take something that is so important to me. I refused though. I chose me. And I'm done with the work here. We'll settle later. But for now, work. I'm so proud of you for choosing yourself. <laughs> Very proud of you. Thank you. Thank Very you. proud. Thank you so much. So, are you close to finishing the job? Which job? This one. Ha! My sister. For a year. Close to what? Ramsey is making this job look like mission impossible. There is nothing I have not tried to seduce this man, to see the effect of my work. For a year. I have tried seduction. It no work. I tried manipulation. It no work. I have even turned to a clown. Yet, nothing. Nothing come out, no help. I don't know what to do again. I'm just I'm I'm tired. I'm I'm tired. I, I don't say I'm frustrated, but I'm tired. I have never known you to be someone who easily gives up. This is your job and your future. Do whatever it takes to get the job done. Think, Mary, you are the Harbour Queen and you know exactly what you need to do to get the job done. Yes, you are the Harbour Queen. Yes, you are right. I am the Harbour Queen and my hips have never failed me. Instead, they give me good results. Thank you, Eunice, for reminding me of who I am. I do not take this for granted. Thank you. As always, I got you back always. Oh, if I forget, what should I offer you? I'm sorry. Just... Okay, um... Food is nice, really nice. trying to take advantage of me. Hey! Yo, this thing can stand so fast. Hey, I'm sorry. 
I added a haba mixture to your food. I did not know that it will get to this extent. Too. What? I, I wanted to do, do it the right way, but, but you forced me to do it this way. You had no right drugging my food. I, I swear I would have you arrest. No, don't ah. arrest me. It's not drugging. It's what we used to check in Tanta. If it is moving, or you won't understand. But, do you, hey, hey, hey no, stay, you, stay where you are. You stay, stay, stay where you see are. See the way this thing is starting. Stay where you are. If it cannot come down, it will get worse, so except it, you have sex. Shut up! So it has been your plan all along to have, have sex with me? Really? Oh, no, for me, I'm not. I will fight this. I will never have sex with No, you, you have to. Let, let me help you to have sex. Your daughter will hang on the way. Nah, nah, nah. Just this small portion I put for him. The Udogu just. Mm. Mm. See the way it will stand the water. So, how are you feeling today? Are you better? Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel a bit better. Thanks. But how crazy are you that you had an uncontrollable boner yesterday? And of all the places you could go, you chose my place to come. Your best friend's place, who is not into men. Thank you, Quash. I didn't come to your house so you could help me put me to bed. I came to your house so you could take me to a hospital. Anyway, um, I found my way to a hospital and they were able to neutralize the effect of the herbs. I'm good now. Okay. But, um... Can I talk to Mary? I need to ask her exactly what she gave you. I could use some of that myself. I can't remember the last time I had that kind of um, muscles and vein, you know, standing. You, you know what I'm talking about. Are you out of your mind? This girl I'm talking about is the one who drugged me and almost took advantage of me. And here you are asking for her number. Well, um, if I were to be the one, I wouldn't have been able to resist her. But you're not human, so you were able to resist her. If I want to have sex, I want to do it with my body and soul intact. Not because somebody drugged me. You understand? Mm. This time around, I... I think she went too far. I might just fire her or let her go. You knew sex was out of the rules, yet you wanted to sleep with him. I just told you he was in so much pain, and he could not resist the urge. When I saw that he was in so much pain, and I know that I, I'm the cause of it, I had to do something to bring him out of that misery. At the expense of the job, when you discovered that Ramsey is as strong and fit as a horse, why then did you want to sleep with him? I just told you it was out of pity. No. You are not one to give pity sex. Mm -mm. I think you're falling for this guy. That's a job well done, girlfriend. <laughs> now it is time to go out of the picture and claim your mula. You need to quit this job or you risk the effort of two months. You are right. You are very right. I think I like him. Mm -hmm. But this kind of love is called love impossible. Because we are from two different worlds. We are world apart. And you know that too he's engaged. So there's no way. Well, maybe I'll just call chairwoman and let her know the latest improvements. Because this is mission impossible. Good decision. Well, my friend, you bad though. My friend, you are bad. Uh, 
sir, and then sir, bro, bro, sir, I know you are very mad at me. Please forgive me. I'm very sorry. I know you don't want to speak with me, but just just listen to me. I have a confession to make, and my confession goes like this. I'm very sorry. The, the, my intention was not to sleep with you. Eh? It, it was it, it was for me to know if you have a if your tanta is working, if you, your erection, your this thing can stand. That was what I wanted to test. So while I was in the mission, something else that came up. I did not know now that the thing will affect you that much. You were in so much pain. I don't know what to do. I now offered to help. And the help is by sleeping with you to reduce it. That was the only thing I could think of. Enough. Enough. This is embarrassing already. But what I cannot phantom is why are you so interested in, in seeing my erection? Why? It's, it's something that is complicated. You will not understand. Let me, it's it's intanta business. You will not understand, sir. Wow. I told we're friends. I told I told you. To... <laughs> Apparently, I was the only one being friends with you then. Well, if that's the case, then we have no use for each other anymore. No problem. I'm sorry. I will just go upstairs and pack my things and leave at once. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me, sir. You don't consider me so horrible to have a drink with. That's okay. Come and sit. Be beside you. Let's share the same glass. You know, I... I never thought I would see my maid as a friend. But, um, so just life. Mary, you are the, the first woman to make me actually laugh. And I, I don't know how you did it, but... I found myself wanting to be around you. And in so many ways, I was genuinely looking out for you, too. And you've been so cold about it, you did not even show it. Emotions, emotions, emotions make me weak. And I, I sometimes I don't know how to own up to my, the way I feel. You remember when I asked you about your ex?
I was happy you guys broke up. Because I, I wanted to spend time with you. I don't know if it's love. But you. <clears throat> you make me happy and. And you mean a lot to me. Hey. The thing now is that I'm not sure I will see the leg to go out of this place. With, with this kind of sweet words you are telling me, nobody has told me this kind of thing. My heart is beating fast. It's my, my, my heart is beating fast. Like, These are not mere words. This is exactly how I feel about you. Fly like a bird. Fly like a bird. It's because of the thing you've been telling me, stop. <laughs> I'm sorry, chairwoman. Don't be offended. Something led to something that led to another something that brought me on top of this bed. I've already packed my things. I will leave. I'll be leaving now. My friend, will you shut up, you swine? Have you seen it? Have you? I knew it from the start that this girl cannot be trusted. I asked her to stay away from my man and keep it professional, but no, she slept with him. Okay, enough. Enough. Everybody calm down. First of all, why would the both of you just barge into my room like that? Shut up! What room is that? Will you shut up? My room. And why are you yelling at the girl like that? It takes two consenting adults to have sex. I gave her the drink. I kissed her first. I took off her clothes and led her to the bed. So I did. Will you shut up? You're such a horrible jack. How dare you say such horrible things before your fiancé? Francis, have you forgotten so soon that you are engaged to her? Engaged? An engagement that was forced on me? That I didn't want? I only accepted it because I didn't want to disgrace you in front of her father. I never wanted any of this. And you? You're fired. Yes, ma'am. For the balance of your payment, don't ever come back for it because you will never get it. Ha! Huh. Amen. Ma, ma, not even 100,000. Shut up your mouth. What 100,000? You never told me what I wanted to know. But, anyways, I can see you have dramatically shown it. So you leave and never come back again. I don't want to ever see your face anywhere around my son. She's not leaving. She stays right here. Okay. Let me see how long you're going to hold her on this bed. Let me see how long you are going to hide her under this room. Fools. Keep holding her. I'll be working. Let it work. Keep working. Could you ruin a two million prospect for five minutes pleasure? How? He, he was looking so charming, like the devil himself. He, he was just saying the right words to me, like Satan, and coming close to me like a serpent. Uh, 
I don't know, one thing led to another. We were thrown and fell on the bed. And the rest is history. I know you are human and you work so hard. The two million advance that was given to you, you gave it, you gave one million era to Jerry, who squandered it. And now you're left with less than a million, right? What are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. I'll just move on with my life. I'll have to pick the remaining pieces and move on. Nothing more, nothing less. Do you think it was sex for him? Did he say all those things to get you in bed? I don't think so. I tried to seduce him, but he refused. I even spiked his drink, yet he resisted. So do you think alcohol will make him have sex with me? I don't think so. No. I think he likes me. But it doesn't matter anymore because it's over now. I'm back here. Mom. You could come back if you guys connected well. Mm -hmm. No man in his right senses will come back to a woman after hearing that his own mother employed that woman to work on his sexual oh. No man. Why are you smiling? <laughs> I just remembered when we went. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going after Mary, and there's nothing either of you will do about it. Never. You cannot make me a laughing stock. We will get married, and I will move in as your lawfully wedded wife. Together, we will have a peaceful and beautiful marriage. That is the plan. There is no plan. As a matter of fact, the plan has changed. I lost my virginity to her. She's the one I want to be with. And you think she feels the same way for you? That girl is just a street hustler. All this love thing doesn't matter to her. It's just useless. So just get focused. And if you wish to know, you're just a job to that girl. What are you talking about? Mary is a herbalist that specializes in treating men's erectile dysfunction. So I met her one of the days she came to sell her herbs and contracted her to verify that you sure do have erection. After Gina complained that she she's suspecting you may be having low libido or worst of it. Impotence. Wow. So this is what you two have been up to? Now, Mother, how did it make you feel to see that the maid or the habilist, when I say, that you implanted finally had sex with me? Did it make you happy? Did it give you satisfaction? You're wondering why I didn't touch Gina. I didn't find her attractive. I hate her. As a matter of fact, I am irritated by her presence. But you see, with Mary, it was, it was different. 
And congratulations to you both for making the only thing in my life that has given me joy. Nothing but a job. Just relax, okay? You created this mess. Clean it. Forget all he said. He just wants to use it too. She made me so happy and anxious at the same time. She was not like my mother. She was the worst. The worst. I mean, she... She just got me to love her, like her, and trust her even. And I was just a job. Just a damn job. She slept with you and broke the rules. And you still think it was just a job? She broke her ethic and that should count for something. And she had so many chances to come clean, but she didn't. But instead she, like I said, made me trust her and took advantage of me in my weakest point. God, I hate her. I hate her so much. But I love her. That's the truth. I miss her. I mean, I miss her so much, man. My house is like a graveyard without her at this point. I don't know. Am I, am I, am I going crazy? You know, I was happy to finally see that you felt what love feels like. But seeing you like this saddens me. I have nothing to say to you, Mary. Nothing. I am not here to convince you to stay with me or to get you on my side, no. Far from it. I'm just here to let you know that the whole thing was more than a job for me. And at first, I sincerely, I wasn't interested. I just want to do my job, get paid and leave immediately. Not until when I got to know the kind of person you are. Despite your hard exterior, you are such a compassionate woman. And I, I started liking you. I knew we are worth apart and we can never be together. That is why I decided to feel true happiness. You knew that sleeping with me was against all of your work ethics. You even risked getting your payment. So the one question I have to ask you is, was it worth it? My heart and happiness mean so much to me more than money. I have worked all my life Everything I ever worked for, I gave it to a man. 
Money has never been a factor where true love and happiness is consigned for me. I'm sorry, I'm so scared away. I actually came here to let you know that I will be leaving. I'll be going to a very, very far away land. But I came to let you know because you are supposed to know that in no time you will be a father. I decided to come let you know. Um, don't worry, it's okay. If, even if it's, uh, I, I don't mind. I'm going to take care of the child alone. I'm not a lazy girl, I'm strong. I know it will jeopardize your political pursuit. No, 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 no. Don't, you don't get to make that decision for me. You, you don't get to do that. You cannot make decisions for me. All of my life I have lived with a woman who made decisions for me. And most of those decisions, instead of doing me good, they made me miserable and they made me sad. So you are not about to do the same thing right now. You're pregnant for me. I accept it. And I want to be in the child's life. Yes. I want to be in your life. So, Let's start again. This time around, no games, no gimmicks, no jobs, no search for, for erection. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of job was that? <laughs> Traditional urologist. <laughs> What are you doing here? I thought I have warned you never to show your face again to me. But that was before I knew she was carrying my child. Mom, for once, I want you to think about my own happiness. I, I want to end the alliance with Gina's family. Son, trust me, that girl is just after your money. She is just after who you are. Okay, if you want to take responsibility of your baby, that's fine. It can be arranged. The marrying Gina is the best thing that can happen to you in a time like this, in your political career. Mother, I love her. I know you love her, but you can't just give everything away. Throw Gina away all because of that lowly habalist. I never thought the day would come when I would admit it or say this out loud. But that lowly habalist in your words has hijacked my heart. And whether I get your approval or not, I'm going to end things with Jenna and I will move on with the person that makes me happy. Excuse me, Mom. Get out. Just get out! I know you've always liked money and love it so much. And I'm giving you a lifetime opportunity. Accept five million naira and disappear. Go anywhere to the end of the world and raise your child. I don't want to ever see you. My son is destined for good life. He's destined for greatness. 
and a woman like you can never be there. Neither can you be able to help him achieve those things he can achieve. But Gina is destined to help him become the king he is fitted for. So please go. I know your son and I are not from the same class. Good. I keep reminding him of that every day. But he asks me not to do that ever again. That I am not the one to make decisions for him. So I have promised myself never to. I will not run away. Except Ramsey asks me to. And I'm sorry. I can't take your money. I know. I know you will never settle for crumbs. But I would advise you take it now that I offer it to you so nicely. And not getting it through the hard way. Chairwoman, I pray that one day you will accept this child, the child I am carrying in my womb. Is your grandchild. I know. It doesn't matter. I pray you get to accept this child one day as your own. And sure. also I pray that you consider your son's happiness in whatever you do. I never intended to end things this way. It was never my intention to hurt anyone. I was so interested in changing your son's genital problem and it ended up this way. I am sorry. But for the money, I will not take that money. With all due respect, ma, I beg to take my leave. From the day I met you, I never knew that I will love you, loving you this way. Through your eyes and your smile have captured me and captured my soul. Hey, where have you been, baby? I am asking. Are you even feeling any pain or you just, you just want me to touch your legs? I just want to touch it up. Oh, <laughs> what is going on here? And who are you? Cherry. My name is Cherry. And I'm Mary's lover. Mary's ex-lover, you mean? Well, I don't have time for this nonsense. I am here to lay claim on what rightfully belongs to me. The baby Mary is carrying belongs to me. What? I mean, I can't even believe she tried to pin it on you, rich dude. Simply because she thinks I cannot afford to take care of my own child. That's not true, and you know it. The duration of my pregnancy states that it was during the time I slept with Ramsey, not you. We have already broken up a month before. What? Why are you lying? Was that what you told him? Huh? That we broke up. When? Sherry. We have been seeing each other and we always had sex each time we met. Sherry, that's a lie, and you know it. You are lying. Why are you lying and you know you are lying? Who asked you to do this? How much did they pay you for this? Cherry, I spent all my life doing hard jobs just to put food on your table. I was busy taking care of you and this is what you want to pay me back with. Jerry, stop this. You know that I am not a loose girl. You know that. Stop with the act, please. I've always known you to be a damn good drama queen. But I cannot believe that you're so selfish as to deprive me of the joy of fatherhood. Cherry. Mom said I told you. I told you this girl is just a street girl that wants to land a gold mine. I told you that this girl is a bunch of desert. To her, it's all about money. This girl is a street girl that wants to land a gold mine. Cherry, I want you. It's, it's not true. I, I, 
He's lying. Jerry, say the truth. Who is lying? Please come off it and tell him the truth. Huh? You know. Huh? Get up. Sit. Please, I did not do it. Sit, sit. I did not do it. Now, Mr. Jerry, or whatever you call yourself, you walk into my house with fake shoes and cheap glasses and lay false allegations. You know you have nine months to contest your truth or your lies. If it happens that this child belongs to me, I will sue you for defamation against Mary. Do you agree? And what happens if the child is mine? If the baby belongs to you, I will humbly apologize and move on. And I say no to that, Ramsey. You cannot wait for nine months. Read my lips. You have just six months to go. The election is just around the corner. Let her go and bring Gina to your side. Take the right decision now. Mother, I've told you countless times, and I will tell you again for the last time, I can win this election on my own merit. I do not need Gina, neither do I need her family. I'm saying. Well, I will take my leave. But I cannot let Mary live here. Eh? Let's go. Hey. Hey, 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 And I will not let her leave my side. No, no, no. She's coming with me. Mary, get up. Go, I go, said, go, go. I go, suggest go. that you leave now or I call security. Stand up for me. Drop your hands down and get out of my house. It's not over yet. Come and take her. You are leaving. Enough, Mom. You mean he showed up claiming to be the one responsible for the pregnancy? Yes. He came to my house and he was yelling at the top of his voice, laying all manner of allegations saying that, that he was still sleeping with her while she was still in my house. Do you think he's telling the truth? That I guy has a reasonable influence over her. What if she never got over their breakup? At this point, I don't know what to think anymore. But she had a sense of sincerity in her voice when she called him a liar. <sighs> or maybe she's just good at convincing people. I don't know, man. My head is banging. We don't have to wait nine months to find out the truth. I will get to the bottom of this. Alright then, I... I'll leave it to you. Thank you so much for doing this, Lois. Thank you, thank you. No thanks needed, brother. Man, yeah. You're a good friend. Ramsey sent me to you. He acknowledges that the baby is probably yours. But he loves Mary and wants to raise the child as his own. So I'm going to make you a transfer right now. And it's supposed to be for your trouble or any inconveniences this request might cost you. A huge transfer. So let me have your account details. Okay. Zero zero one one three three six two zero one Bank Assets Uh huh, that's it. Oh my god! Yeah! Ha! See you! Hey! 
broke Mary is suddenly making me so rich. Europe, here I come. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. Why are you guys offering me a huge amount of money because of her? What do you mean by we guys? Um, okay, fine, 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 fine. I see you're paying more than any other person. So I'll just go ahead and tell you the truth. After all, I intend to leave this country and never come back. There is nothing in this country. Look, the truth is that I never loved Mary. Mary is not my type. You know, I just used her for survival, you know, and she, she was giving everything and I was collecting it willingly with no question asked. That baby isn't mine. I was only paid one million naira to claim it in order to stop Ramsey from being with her. Who paid you to tell these lies? Is it the chairwoman? All that money will be yours if you can claim the pregnancy Mary is carrying and break her relationship with Ramsey. You want me to claim another man's child and become a father to it? I'm not ready to be a father now for any reason. I, I, I don't Even want to be a father. Shut up. Shut up. You and I know that even if you try, you can never be responsible for yourself or to anyone. Just tell the lies and make sure Ramsey doubts her and kicks her out of the house. Will I get more of this if I do a good job? When the breakup is finally done, give me a call. I will reward you especially for a job well done. I can't believe I am making so much money, all thanks to Mary. <laughs> this is good. This is good. I'll make sure I do a good job. And when this whole episode is over, I will give Mary a special treat. And I will be the one paying for the first time. Consider it done. I will do it. Get out of my car. Okay. See you later. So which of these dresses would you like? choosing for you. Why don't you choose this time? I don't have to choose. Okay, uh... And what is this fraud still doing here? Son, you're making a very big mistake. A terrible one at that matter. <laughs> How can you be back in a wrong tree? You would definitely jeopardize all you have taken years to work. And this is how Jenna intends to be first lady? I don't understand. By manipulation, bribery. Okay. What is that for? I mean, come on, you know me. I can't do that. There's no way I would do a thing like this. Listen, the guy came to me. He said the child might be his. And, and, and I told him, if you're sure the child is yours, just go. I mean, I... Okay, fine. I paid him to lie. Mm -hmm. I did. What would you do about that? No, I'm asking you. What would you do about that? Ramsey, do you know what I have been going through? Do you? I have waited all my life for the day that you will want me. But what did you do? You fell in love with the street urchin. And left me with nothing, absolutely nothing. And you expect me to go back home and cry myself to sleep. Is that it? No, is that what you expect of me? Never. I will never. I will never do that. I did what I know how to do best. I fought for my position, my place, and my rights. You're so selfish. You don't even realize it yet. 
That's why I never warmed up to you. And just like my, my mother, all you care about is goals, dreams, conquest. It was never about my happiness. And for the very first time in my life, I found something, someone, who was finally going to make me happy. And yet, the other both of you are working tirelessly to ruin it. Wow. Just call it there, my son. Round of applause. Just Son, stop. I don't have anything to do with bribing her or her ex. After all, I never knew that young man. The last time and the first time I ever saw him was the, the day he came to your house. Yes. It's certain I don't want her close to you. <clears throat> as much as I don't want her close to you, all that is for political reasons. I don't even intend to terminate the pregnancy because that same child in her womb is my grandchild. Yes, my intention was just to say to her to make sure she never lacks and never came back to you again. That is not enough, Mom. She deserves my love. She deserves my care. She deserves my attention. And as for the child in her womb, the child deserves to be with his father and with his mother. It is over between us, Gina. I hereby call off our engagement. And I never want to see you again. Not around me or anyone that I call mine. Understood? It is not over. You don't get to be happy while I am miserable. I cursed the day I met you, Ramsey. I hate you! My dear, I called you out here today to apologize to you. I had no intention of hurting you. No, not even your baby. I was just protecting my son's political career. Mommy, I understand very well. I know you love your son so much. I can see it in your eyes. It's, it's just that you show it in a different way. That's why Ramsey does not understand. You seem to know us so well. You know, the last time when you told me, I was always patronizing my son's happiness. It got me so hard that I had to stop coming after you. So, I never believed my son could laugh with any woman, let alone falling in love. <laughs> in fact, you brought so much light, love, joy, to my son's life. Please, let's start all over again. Give me the privilege to make it up to you, especially for all the troubles I've caused you. That would be so nice, mommy. And I am sure Ramsey will be so happy to see that the women in his life is getting along. 
adesso. Okay. <ride> Respiri come io già. Tic, tic, tic. Oh, oh. Tic. Stop. Stop. Oh, God. <ride> Sorry, sorry. Oh, it's all over my body now. You turn it all over. was dark. My life was cloudy. I didn't know peace. I didn't know happiness. I was... I was drowning in hate. But you came into my life and you brought me so much light in ways that I cannot explain. And before I met you, I... I had no hope that I would ever fall in love. I thought I had no heart. But I met you and my heart was hijacked by you. You, you made me laugh. You made me frown. You made me happy, you made me angry. And more importantly, you, you gave me peace. The kind that I've never experienced before in my life. And so I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Mary, from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Will you marry me? On the finger. But it's not this one, is it? No, I'm sorry. Congratulations, people. Thank you, my guy. Thank you. Thank you.